Using the science of taxonomy, all living things can be classified or organized into six categories. These categories are called kingdoms. These kingdoms are unique in many ways, but also overlap and have some major similarities. These similarities have a great deal to do with when they evolved. So let's take a visit to the evolutionary tree of life to get a better picture of when these six kingdoms involved, evolved. Though other patterns have been proposed. Generally, we like to start with the earliest organisms, the ancestor. Branching off of the ancestral um, genetic tree are unicellular organisms called bacteria. These are prokaryotic organisms which reproduce by binary fission. We'll go through them in more depth in another video. Generally thought of as the next uh, kingdom to evolve, archaea bacteria. And these are also eukaryotic, I'm sorry, prokaryotic organisms that are unicellular, but they evolved with very different plasma membranes and genetic structures. Finally, the, um, the last four kingdoms to evolve are all prokaryotic organisms. They may have been thought of to evolve from the proteist kingdom which are uni or multicellular organisms. They're eukaryotic. Um, some produce, reproduce through binary fission or con conjugation. And they could be made of heterotrophs or autotrophs. Fungi then may have developed uni or multicellular organisms, eukaryotic organisms that can produce sexually or asexually. Um, some examples of fungi are mushrooms and um, yeast, and they are heterotrophic. They differ from plants because plants are all autotrophic, or the plantae kingdom. They're also all multicellular as opposed to the fungi kingdom. And finally, the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom are also all eukaryotic, all multicellular like plants, um, and undergo sexual reproduction, some asexual, and um, are all heterotrophic. So that's just an overview of the six kingdoms. Check out our other videos on each of the kingdoms for more detail.